All right, so I uh, just want to come on here and say something. You know, the last couple of days I've been uh, doing some work around people. Like, you know, I had a life before the devil came and started tap dancing on it. I'm glad he did it. I'm glad God let him do it. I try not to argue with God anymore. Because at the end of it all, it's like he gives me the real version of him. Which you learn is more precious than anything. And it's very costly. It's going to cost you everything. But it's very precious. It's very real. And anyways, so I'm being put around parts of my old life. And like I had like a really comfortable life. I still do. But like, it's like I made a decision to walk toward the Lord. And the devil's like, you sure you want to do that? Because that means that I'm going to like come at you with everything. And then God's like, I mean, Trav, you know, he's going to come out with everything. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, screw the devil. I, I, I don't want anything to do with him. I hate him. And I know it's going to not be easy. And that's kind of what makes it good anyways. So let me go ahead and take this off here. This light. So I'm dealing with, you know, you're around people. That some people just have no idea the level of adversity that's possible, right? So you got people, say you got rich people and poor people. Okay, so so the poor people go through a lot of things that the rich people just don't even, they don't understand. If they, if they were to last one day in someone's shoes, they would, I don't know, they quit. So you got that. And then you got, so you got rich and poor. And then you got People who are walking with the Lord and people who are not walking with the Lord. And then you got the persecuted and the not persecuted. Now, what happens when you start piling and, and combining those things together? You got a person who's broke, who's persecuted, who's this, who's that. And like, in a way, it's really awesome. Because it's like, you you know for a fact that other people couldn't handle this. You already know. And Like one of these things. And then you start piling them up. And it's like... You start to think, like, what could the devil pile on here to make it even heavier? I don't even know. I don't even know if it's possible. I'm sure I'll think of something. But it's kind of like what, what we go through, what I go through as a child of God, and I assume what other people who are children of God, children of the Most High, like direct lineage, that's my dad of the Most High. Like, you're going to go through a lot of stuff, and... It's not that I don't like it. It's just very real. You know, the devil's play for keeps. And, and and it's like, it's a good thing. But it doesn't make it any less real or any less annoying. So anyways, you got people who you're around and I don't know. It's just like, it's a little frustrating. It's bringing up a lot of stuff. It's bringing up a lot of stuff. That's like, you kind of just wish things and people would just want to be treated properly people don't want to be treated properly and it sounds crazy but it's true people want to be treated like garbage and I hate I, I don't like that I hate it and it's like the, the nicer and the better you try to be to people it's like the more they want to like they want to steal your virtue so the devil's going to work through people you could be nice and kind and do nice things for people very thoughtful things and they'll try to rob you and steal from you and basically try to turn you they try to flip See, the same way the Holy Spirit in you can flip things for the good whenever you're around, that's the same thing the devil's children try to do. And I just came in contact with one of them yesterday. So, and they try to steal your star. They try to take your virtue. So that goodness and that energy, when they come around, they, they try to get you pissed off at them. But I bind that spirit of trying to get me pissed off and resentful. I bind that spirit of resentment in Jesus' name. And then what else is working? Holy Spirit, tell me. What's going on here? The spirit of misfortune, I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of unknowing oppression, I bind you in the name of Jesus. What else, God? The spirit of fortune telling, get out in the mighty name of Jesus. And the spirit of I know what's best, get out in the mighty name of Jesus. So anyways, when the thief is caught, they got to repay double. So I had some person like try to get me for a few dollars 
but it's not the few dollars. It's it's they they want to lie to you. They want to all this stuff. This person's like obscenely rich, and and for them, it's not about the money. She's probably a double worshiper. Honestly, she's probably like a, a high level priestess talking about the Vanderbilt, all kinds of. Listen, some of these people, especially around here, they're into some sick, nasty stuff. I'm sure of it. So, anyways. So what they do is they, they, they want they like pissing everybody off, right? And it's not about just pissing them off. It's about, like I said in another video, the devil wants to steal a dollar from you here, so it has a right to steal ten thousand from from over here. And that's exactly what'll happen. So this lady, if she gets me for this little bit of money, right? So you gotta be bold and you gotta walk through adversity. And this is probably a really powerful lady. And whatnot. Anyways, long story short, God keeps telling me you got to tell you got to tell these people. You got to put them on notice, basically. And you just use the word of God as a weapon, right? So these people they want to steal from you. Basically, they want to steal your star and your virtue. They want to steal your goodness and your happiness and your desire to be nice and treat people properly in the future. So this person, you do something nice, you do something wonderful. And then they want to stab you, bam, and steal from you. Because that goodness is a mark of who you are. And they know that they want they, they feed off you. So they want to like stab you and take it. Right? And they like it gives them power. It gives them energy. Look. Energy. It gives them energy. Anyways. It gives them energy. Because you think about all that goodness that could happen in the future. Boom, 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 boom. Think about 10 nice things that I would do for somebody in the future. If I let this witch steal from me, right? She'd be stealing from me. She'd be stealing from the people in front of me, right? And all that virtue and goodness and that just space where God could come in and like show people that like goodness is still around and whatnot anyways. So they take it. They want to take your star. But I bind that witch's ability to steal from me in that manner. So God keeps telling me, you got to put her on notice. You got to put her on notice. So there's a Bible verse, Psalms, or what is it? I think Psalms 631, I think, or Proverbs 631, where basically when the thief is caught, they got to repay sevenfold. So this person, like I said, is obscenely rich. So it's not like, hey, say, let's say, for instance, $100. Hey, uh, you stole $100 from me, so now you owe me $700. No, 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 no. That's not how we do it. Number one, it's not, the, it's not just the money. See, the money means nothing. It's not the money. It's the energy and it's the virtue. But we're going to tie the money into it, too. So this witch owes me. So say for instance, I have a thousand dollars to my name, which is not what I have to my name. But say for instance, I have a thousand dollars to my name and this witch, look at that. Seven, 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 seven. And this witch wants to steal a hundred dollars. Okay. So that's 10% of what I got. So when the witch is caught, when the thief is caught trying to steal that 10%, that's the physical thing. Now, we got the spiritual wall. We got uh, the virtue, the goodness in the future. It's a lot of stuff. And these things seem very small. You can't let people steal from you. It's not the money. It's not just the money. And it's, you know, people say, oh, it's the principle. It's that virtue. It's, it's your star. These people are disgusting. They want to steal your star. They want to lie to you. They want to lead you on. And they want to stab you in the heart when you do something nice for them. Now that's a spirit working through them and it's a demon. And what it does is it repays evil for good. So I bind up that demon too. That demon that wants to repay evil for good, I break your power in Jesus' name. Now, so when I sit and think about what this person took or is trying to take, right? Oh, I'm gonna do this nice. When I think about what this person took or is trying to take, this is great. I am figuring out what my amount of money is and what that per, what that piece of what she took equates to in a percentage of what she what they took for, what they're trying to take from me they're not going to be able to take it because God's going to go and take sevenfold from this so this is how it works <coughs> it's wonderful so God you see this lady right here that's the witch okay so the witch is like Oh, let me take this and I'm going to put it back here. 
and I'm going to lie, and I'm going to do all that stuff to, like, take this. But God is going to go like this. God is going to go, God's going to go like this. God's going to go, and you got to ask God to do it. You got to say, God, listen, when the th you say in your word, because God's word is true. Lord, you said in your word, when the thief is caught, they got to repay double. There's a verse that says sevenfold too, so we're going to stick with the sevenfold. They got to repay sevenfold. So God, I'm asking you to you go send angels to go get sevenfold and not just seven times a hundred for argument's sake. Not just seven times a hundred, not seven hundred dollars. No, 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 no. I want to figure out exactly that piece of the pie, my pie that she took or is trying to take, Father God. I want that same chunk of my pie. Lord, I want you to take that same chunk of her pie. This lady's probably a billionaire. So, when I, in Jesus' name, right? And he'll do it. Because he, cause he's not a liar. He's not, he's not going to lie. He's not, he's not going to lie. Anyways, God, can you do that? Boom. He wants to. He wants. The reason why we have the word of God is he wants to act on our behalf. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at that door. He wants to act on our behalf. He wants to. He wants to do this stuff. But he wants you to use it to have him do it. So anyways, he's going to be like this. He's going to be like, I'm like, God, can you get that sevenfold? He's going to take this. He's going to go right behind here. He's going to know what she's got. He's going to take this thing. Ooh, big old fat chunk. Big old giant chunk of something. Chunk. He's going to take it from her. Now, he's not going to give that big giant chunk to me. He's going to take that and he's going to be like, all right, because he's smart. And it, it, he's always accurate. Every I've never met such a good accountant as the Lord. He knows exactly how much money I owe him. If I'm short on tithing, if I'm short on this or short on that, he knows all of it. Look at this. Look at this. He knows all of it. He knows it. He knows it. He knows it. Right? He knows exactly. So I'm not asking for that big giant chunk. What I'm saying is, Lord, can you take sevenfold from that witch? Because she's trying to take, and she probably, the thing is, she probably does it to everybody, not just me. Like everybody, that's what she does. She's a witch. Maybe without even knowing, I think she's a Satanist. But anyways, so she's going to take it. God's going to take it. And then God's going to look through this and God's going to, with his little, with his hand, with the big hands. He's going to lick his fingers. He's going to flip through all that money or whatever that he's taken from her. Right? That sevenfold. Boom. And he's going to give me my cut. Boom. He's going to give me my cut. Who cares what he does with the other? I don't even care. God, it's yours. It ain't mine. I don't even want anything extra. Just a sevenfold is good for me. So anyways. So say, for instance, she's a billionaire. Okay? Just to say one billion. And that sevenfold, right, would be... Uh, 7 million or 70 million, whatever it is. He'll take that 70 million. Think, he'll take it. And then he'll get me ba, 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 out of that. Somehow, somehow, he'll get it in the world and he'll send me mine. He'll send me mine. The 700 or what have you, right? So he'll take 70 million from this witch, right? Think, and he'll give me my 700. Now, he keeps telling me, I got to tell her. He said, he keeps saying, you got to put them on notice. You got to let them know. That's part of the deal. So you got to let these people know when the thief is caught, they're going to repay sevenfold. Now, it's really weird, the odd timing of it. You know, this, the bank thing that's going on now. And like, and I had this feeling that she was going to do this, right? And then I'm seeing how God's working this out. He, God's always going to be perfect. Always. He's always going to be perfect. So I'm seeing how he's working it out. That whole bank collapsing and this and that. And she's like making like little tiny comments like, oh, like she's going to get hit. She's going to get hit and she's going to get hard. Now, that maliciousness, it, there's, it's not maliciousness. You see, God deals with all his, his people. He deals with all of us differently. He'll deal with a witch different than he's going to deal with a child of God, one of his children who's listening to him. He's going to, he's going to show up for his children. 
he's going to take from the witch and he's going to tell the witch it's because you mess with my child and he's so he's he's going to give everybody an encounter with himself just in different ways so anyways when the thief was caught they got over page sevenfold let me look up that verse because i'm going to speak it over this in jesus name in fact i'm going to ask you lord to miraculously let this video play you've done it for me and you're not a respecter of persons father god let this video play in that witch's pocket randomly let it play in her pocket randomly you know god has had a person's video play and might just start playing in my pocket i never listened to him in my life nothing and it was like right on time with the message that i needed father god so i'm asking you to deliver a message to this person that when the thief is caught and it doesn't have to be necessarily be through this exact video but Lord, put them on notice that when the thief is caught, they got to repay sevenfold in Jesus Christ by the name. Thank you, Lord. All right, so now Proverbs 631. Yet, if caught, he must pay sevenfold. Now, here's, here's the crazy part. I feel bad, but listen, it's got to be done because it's not the money. It's not this, the little bit of money. That is, that's the very least amount. That's on the, the smallest, most dense scale, and that's what gets... God's children just to kind of like, okay, and just take it. We can't take it anymore because what they're doing is they're stealing your goodness. Have you noticed like as you get older, you get more and more like you get the mad face and it's like the world wants to turn you into this hardened heart, a, a really mad face just drove by. The, the world wants to turn you into this hardened, hearted person who doesn't love anymore. So that that's what they're stealing and you can't let them steal that. That's the one thing you cannot let them steal. Father God, I ask you to break the hands of these witches and these warlocks and these demons off of my virtue. I speak for myself, but anybody at the sound of my voice, Lord, who's tired of these people stealing from us in Jesus' name. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, and I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Like it says in your word, Father God, let your word be true. Proverbs 631. Yet if he is caught, he must pay sevenfold. Though it cost him all the wealth of his house, Father God, I pray, Lord, that in the perfect, your, your perfect accounting measure, Father God, that you go and you just collapse. Even if it takes their whole house, everything they got, just collapse it all and take that sevenfold in Jesus' name. And I just want what's mine, Lord. That's it. I just want what's mine, Father God. And you said it. I didn't say it, Lord. It's okay to talk to God like, God, I love you so much. I don't want to get like an uproar in the world from what i understand you let me know it's okay to talk to you like this to use your word and like talk to you with your word lord you said it not me when the thief is caught they gotta repay double i caught this thief i caught this witch not just trying to steal the money but trying to steal my virtue and my star and my goodness so here's what happened so this woman and her mother were going out and her mom took the time to like get all dressed up right and these old ladies god i hope you're listening to this i don't pray that you bless this old lady these old ladies they take forever to get ready and they really care about it so you might see an old lady walking down the street looking like decent and not think of what goes into it hours and out like hours goes into this stages and levels and this and, it's crazy so she had it going on. So I know that she spent a lot of time getting ready. And it's not easy. It's not easy. So, and I know that the witch gets all the attention. She was sitting right there, the witch. So I know she gets all the attention usually. So I got the mom, pink flowers. And I got her flowers that aren't like dead cut flowers. I got like flowers in a little thing. And I put that there. And I got her a couple bars of uh, dark chocolate. And she gets in and she's like, oh, the flowers are so sweet. So, and she kept making comments about them. Every time she'd make a comment, the witch, the daughter, would come in and like try to talk something. Oh, well, this and that. It's just so nasty. Anyways, so, and I forgot, and I've known this lesson before, that these people, these dark people, you bring goodness to the table, they hate it. They hate it. They hate it. But anyway, she can hate it all she wants, and I hope. It gives her a really bad taste in her mouth in Jesus' name. Anyways. Long story short. Lord, I forgive her. And I ask you to forgive her through me in Jesus' name. But that doesn't change the fact that she stole from me and tried to steal from me. Father God, she's trying to steal my virtue. 
She's trying to steal my money, Father God. Uh, she's a liar, and her father was a liar and abode not in the truth. You see, her dad is the devil, and her dad's a liar too. So it's not just her who's a liar, it's her dad also. So you gotta keep reaffirming. You gotta you gotta pile the word of God on the situation. I don't care about this. I really don't care about it. I, I really don't care. But it has to be done. And God is putting it on my heart. Right? So, when the thief is caught, they got to repay sevenfold. She's a liar. She's been caught. She's been caught. Because I called, long story short, I called and I looked into it and found out that she, she lied. She's a liar. And, listen, I've lied in the past. God forgive me. However, she's got caught. And, and the word of God says when they're caught, they got to repay sevenfold. So she's going to repay sevenfold because the Lord God is true to his word. And he's going to go and he's going to like a mothership come over all her whole house. It says in God's word. Though it cost him all the wealth of his house. How much of the wealth of the house? All of it. And you got to do this mercilessly because these people, they... That's what they do. They'll take a little tiny piece and it seems so small and so innocent, but it's not. It's it's the virtue and the goodness on one hand. That's even shrunk down and condensed. Really what it is, is it's opening a door for the devil to come in and take your whole house. For the devil to walk away where it says, cost him his whole house. That's given the devil a right to come and do that. Take your whole house from you. No, 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 no. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. So, now, I'm going to upload this video into the airwaves, and I'm going to ask God kindly to either A, miraculously play this video in her pocket, number one, because I know he'll do that, and he's out of respect to her persons, and it's possible, and he's a, it may be unlikely, but I don't think it's impossible. So God, you could do it that way. But if I know anything about God, he always, even though I'll know different ways of how he acts and does things and manifests himself, he always likes to do it in a way that you don't think of. And that's like another one of God's amazing super abilities. It's like he shows you all these wonderful parts of his character. So that's one of them. So, because he's like, I'm not going to be limited. He's so competitive with all his character traits. It's so amazing. <coughs> you don't want to be on his bad side. So anyways, when I say, oh, you can manifest in this way or that way, he's like, okay, I'm listening. I'm listening, but I'm going to do it way better in a way that nobody even thinks about. Anyways, also God, you could do it to where uh, somebody or through a few people that she knows, Lord, that it, somebody she knows could be could watch this like three or four degrees of separation from her and Jesus saying that's also possible. And then another way is just, Lord, the common ground that we have, Father God, the medium is this YouTube. If she watches any YouTube video, Father God, that connection to this video, Father God, I pray that it's enough, Father God, to transmit her being put on notice that when the thief is caught, they got to repay sevenfold, Father God, and I pray, Lord, that you act on my behalf in Jesus' name and go and whip that devil with hard cords, whip that, whip that witch with hard cords in Jesus Christ's mighty name, that, that demon that's working through her that wants to repay evil for good, I bind that demon up in Jesus' name. And also that demon that wants to hover and steal, steal people's virtue and their goodness and, and attack them in places where, whether they know it knowingly or in the back of their mind, where they think they're going to do future damage. She's a witch. It's just the way it is. That's the way they operate. They, they're on autopilot doing this stuff. They, don't, they may not even know it in the forefront of their mind, but it doesn't even matter. She's been caught. And God, I trust you. Lord, I trust you to go and grab all that from her and just give me my portion, however you see fit, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for doing it. Anyways, so like I said, it's not about being all passionate about this one thing. I learned this a long time ago. You, you, and, and, and it sucks because you're always going to have to be fighting. It feels like you're always fighting, but you always have to fight. You have to be a fighter because when the devil starts coming at you, and like taken from you in every way, shape or form, you're either gonna die, literally, you're gonna die because he will kill you. He wants to kill you. You're either gonna die or you're gonna stand up and fight. And then when you stand up and start fighting, you start realizing how the devil's been doing this basically your whole life. But he's just like, he hasn't really turned up the volume so high and so intensely 
until you started becoming aware of your authority and your power and who you are. That's when he's like, oh no, we can't mess around anymore. We've been wasting too much time. He's trying to come at you with everything, right? And these are the little open doorways that he uses to try to come in and steal from you. Now break the power of that stuff now in Jesus' name. Now, I'm gonna make a deliverance on this. Father God, like I said, when the thief is caught, they gotta repay you. Sevenfold in Jesus' name. Thank you for saying it. Thank you, Lord, for affirming that that is the embodiment and the standard of truth in this realm in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord.